Hi, hello, it's, uh, it's Oren Finnegan here from Finnegan Runs and today we're going to be looking at the Saucony Endorphin Speed. So let's get down to the nitty gritty and look at the, uh, the design and stats. So what are we talking about here? Neutral running shoe, we're looking at an 8 uh, millimeter drop from heel to toe. Uh, and that in terms of the weight, not a heavy shoe. Um, it comes in, in for a European uh, 41, UK 7. Uh, we're talking about 219 grams or 7.7 .7 ounces. So not that heavy and it really doesn't feel heavy. Um, it really uh, feels extremely comfortable on the foot. Uh, in terms of the tech, this is Saucony's uh, Piba um, foam. It's both in the uh, Speed and the Pro. The main difference between the Pro, which is very much the racing shoe, and this is the training uh, shoe is that there's a nylon plate in uh, the endorphin speed and what you have is the carbon plate in in the pro so um, that's really one of the key features here um, it's also got this roll um, technology and which we've seen as well which is quite interesting um, and I really do feel when I'm out there running uh, the, the bit of a, a pop moving forward with having the shoe on. Um, for me, I was really surprised uh, getting this. Um, I did not think that the tech would work uh, the way it would and that I would like the shoe this much. Uh, it takes me a bit of an effort to get into a new shoe, but this one won me over straight away. What else can we look at in terms of the design? One thing I did find is that the laces, you do have to pull them quite tightly together. I think for me here, there's a bit too much foam. Uh, I'm based in Bangkok in Thailand, and these do really sort of uh, heat up a bit in view of the amount of foam and cushioning they've put around here. But it is extremely comfortable um, to, to ride, and even though you have to pull it up, that doesn't affect the fit for me. For me, it's true to size. Um, it fits extremely well. Um, I've had no issues wearing it. I've done short, longer runs. Um, as I mentioned, you can check out the Strava runs I've done and you'll see a bit about that. If we look underneath, we can see that there is a bit of an effort here in putting on um, the material to gain a bit of traction. Um, they're not they're certainly not going to grip uh, the road extremely well, but I've never had any issues in slipping. Uh, and that I'm always a bit wary in terms of the wear in w by looking at it. Um, I've run in terms of types of terrain, road predominantly, but also gravel uh, and that, but nothing majorly off road. So uh, I can't really comment on what, how they react there, but looking at the foam, it looks a bit susceptible, but um, that's something that maybe you can add in the comments if you found uh, something uh, different. I think the upper mesh is really good. It's comfortable. Um, it doesn't certainly feel too hot. And as I said, being here in Bangkok, if uh, I'm gonna feel heat in a shoe, it's gonna be here. Um, so yeah, a winner all round in terms of the design and stats. So let's move on. What's it like out running? Well, I have to say this is one of the most comfortable shoes that I have in my collection. It really is my go-to shoe. Uh, at the moment. Um, I found um, for easy runs, for tempo runs, um, this really is a winner. Um, it's interesting. I mean, I think for me, um, I'm very much a, a training shoe, tempo shoe, and a race day shoe. Um, that's what, how my collection usually works out, and it, it's, it's certainly what, what uh, works best for me. However, if you are looking just for one shoe, um, I think this is certainly one to consider. Easy runs, uh, this morning I was just out on an easy run on this, um, very comfortable. Um, then if I wanna push the speed, I can really do that in these as well. The nylon plate works well, um, you do get that bit of propulsion forward, you do get that comfort, but it's not as harsh as um, 
from what from what I understand a pro or certainly a carbon plated um, shoe um, it's uh, in terms of price um, now that there's the two is released this is going to be on sale so I think you would get a good deal uh, on this so look and check out the prices in your area but certainly I think uh, the deals will be on now with the two being released and as I mentioned initial reviews and you'll see that um, on YouTube uh, are not really noticing a lot of differences why because it's a very good shoe there's not a lot I think you can change in that regard types of distances I can run 10 K's half uh, up to a marathon I would certainly say as well and do that uh, quite comfortably um, outside of that, uh, in terms of the um, the actual race itself, not much else to add. I would say that um, you know, with a bit of a stack here, um, if you're and I f did find this a bit on gravel, it can be a bit um, uh, unwieldy, and um, there I would have a caution. Road, no problems at all, but certainly with more uneven terrain and I've seen that a bit here on the streets here in, in Bangkok when they can be a bit uneven I'm not completely uh, confident uh, in the shoe but it's it's not a major detail but it's one I think you should be aware of when you you uh, look into it but um, outside of that not much else to mention on the run um, extremely comfortable and uh, definitely something I could take out any day uh, of the week and usually do. So quickly in conclusion um, this is a great shoe um, it's certainly one that has become very dear to my heart and uh, when I sit, go in the morning to select a pair of shoes it's very difficult to pull my, myself away from this particular one whether it be easy, whether it be tempo um, and even if uh, you want to only get one shoe you could push this up to uh, a race day shoe as well uh, the, the nylon plate works, works quite well and you get a bit of propulsion uh, there I think um, beyond that, uh, well constructed uh, now with the Endorphin Speed 2 out you'll get this for a good price and um, from what we understand there's not a tremendous amount of difference between the shoes um, if I'm looking at any negatives that might turn me uh, in some way away from this it's really hard to find one um, the, the sole does for me certainly look a bit vulnerable and certainly I wouldn't be taking this to the trails but it's not really what it's designed for. It's designed as really a training shoe uh, to complement um, Saucony's Endorphin Pro um, for race day. So that's definitely an avenue you could go down. I haven't um, run in the uh, Endorphin Pro. I hope to try that out um, um, in, in, the, in the coming uh, weeks and I will let you know uh, what I think about that and give you a, a comparison. So. That's really it. Um, if you like the video, please do uh, leave a comment at the bottom, hit the subscribe button and please go out, enjoy your runs, uh, whether it be short, medium or, or long with the weekend coming and look forward uh, to seeing you again here soon and giving you some of my thoughts on the shoes I'm running in. Have a good day.